Hey everyone, hope you're having a great Tuesday. I get the privilege of doing the devotionals on each Tuesday, and so I just wanted to, to be unique and give mine a title. And so, this every Tuesday, I want us to get together and have snack time together, okay? During this devotional time. So what we're going to do, I need you to get up, grab your favorite snack... And we're going to sit down, and while you snack, I'm going to share a devotional with y'all. So, let's see what we have here. What do I want? Hmm. This looks pretty good to me. All right, here we go. Now, let me just go ahead and say that, yes, that was a joke. Uh, I am not starving by any means. I actually just moved into a little rent house. And so, uh, it's horrible timing because you can't buy groceries anywhere. But I do have food. I do have toilet paper. So, I am good to go. Don't worry about me. I just wanted to have some fun with you. Hopefully, you have your favorite snack or you're in the process of getting it. Come over here. As y'all can see, I got a puppy stretched out across the couch here. This is Groot. Uh, so, he's taking a little little nap himself so i had to one up justin uh since he had jared in his video uh, i had to go get a puppy to have in mind uh, but anyways uh, i do hope y'all are having a great tuesday uh, i'm excited to to be with y'all again getting to share a devotional what you can't see right now is that i have some devices on my feet and i'll stand up and show you real quick most of you know exactly what these are um, if you played any type of sports or you were trying to build leg strength these are called ankle weights. Now, to me, they remind me a lot of shackles. Uh, I don't care for them. They're uncomfortable. They dig into your ankle bone, but they serve a purpose. Now, again, I, I view them as being chained up and being in shackles, which is exactly what a lot of y'all are feeling right now. You feel like you're chained up and in shackles because you're not allowed to leave your home. You're quarantined. You're just kind of stuck where you are at the moment. So I wanted to read a little bit about what Paul did during his imprisonment uh, in Philippians chapter 1. Uh, as he was imprisoned in, in with Timothy, uh, he writes a letter to the Philippians saying what needs to be done during this time. So we're going to read chapter 1 verses 1, uh, sorry, verses 3 through 14 and just see what Paul says during this time. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. Whenever I pray, I make my request for all of you with joy, for you have been my partners in spreading the good news about Christ from the time you first heard it until now. And I am certain that God, who began the good work within you, will continue his work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. So it is right that I should feel as I do about all of you, for you have a special place in my heart. You share with me the special favor of God both in my imprisonment and in defending and confirming the truth of the good news. God knows how much I love you and long for you with the tender compassion of Christ Jesus. I pray that your love will overflow more and more and that you will keep on growing in knowledge and understanding. For I want you to understand what really matters so that you may live pure and blameless, blameless lives until the day of Christ's return. May you always be filled with the fruit of your salvation, the righteous character produced in your life by Jesus Christ, for this will bring much glory and praise to God. And I want you to know that, my dear brothers and sisters, that everything that has happened to me here has helped to spread the good news. Really listen right here. It says, For everyone here, including the whole palace guard, knows that I am in chains because of Christ, and because of my imprisonment, most of the believers here have gained confidence and boldly speak God's message without fear. So here's what I want to look at everyone real quick is that even during this time where you feel in prison, you feel like you're in chains and shackles and that uh, you're struggling because you're, you don't like being quarantined. You don't like being stuck in one spot, uh, especially on a beautiful day like today. Uh, everyone wants to get outside and hopefully you've got the chance to do that around your own home. Uh, whether you're mowing or doing anything, it's a beautiful day. But my question for you is, during this time of feeling like you're imprisoned, are you gaining confidence in your own individual walk? And are others gaining confidence because of what you're exuding through your walk? Because that's exactly what it says in verses 13 and 14. 
Uh, everyone here knows that I'm here and in chains because of Christ. And because of my imprisonment, because I'm stuck here, most of the believers, so most of the people that he's spending time with that uh, believe in Christ have gained confidence and can boldly speak God's message without fear. And so there's no fear, but there is hope. And there is a way to grow during this time. We, we don't become stagnant. We don't stop operations. We say, okay, God, how do we do this? What does this look like from here on out? How can we use this time of imprisonment and being in chains and shackled up to gain confidence and speak boldly so that others may do the same? Hey, church, we love you. Uh, we miss y'all. If there's anything we can do, don't hesitate to let us know. And we look forward to seeing you soon.